Hello Daniel here and welcome back to another of my Amazon Fire TV how-to videos and in this video I'm going to show you how you can pair an Amazon Fire TV stick with a Amazon Echo and the one we're using in this video it isn't the one you have to use but it's the one I've, I've got that will work is an Amazon Echo dot third gen um, it'll work with this the, the bigger ones than this and it'll also work with the studio speakers which I highly recommend and this is uh, what I'm talking about here fully immersive 3D sound with a built in subwoofer that's probably the best bet if you want to do this but if you want to see if it works and, and how easy it is to set up then I hope this video helps so what do we need to get this going we've got to get the we've got to have a Fire TV stick this is the Fire TV stick 4K it will work with uh, an old gen but the newer stuff tends to work easier as I said if, uh, third gen Amazon Dot Echo Dot and we'll, we won't need to do anything with the TV straight away, um, the Fire Stick straight away, but we'll need to access the um, the app, I can't name that, the that app there, the Amazon app. And what you need to do here is, this sort of presumes that you've got everything set up anyway, so I won't bore you with this, but it's, it presumes that you've got your devices set up and you're sort of relatively knowledgeable about bits and bobs. So what do we need to do here? So your Amazon Echo device needs to be added to your account on this app. So we need to go to the devices uh, part of the app. And then we need to add a device by the top button here. And we want to combine speakers. I hope you can see that. Now there's a few options here for us. There's multi-room music, you can set that up for other purposes we don't want to do that um, the one we want is home cinema and as you can see earlier I was talking about an Amazon studio so that would be one speaker you are you can pair uh, one or more of these I'm just going to use one today that's all I've got as I said and you can also play music via them as well so let's go for the home cinema option select that now what this is going to do this is going to find my uh, Fire TV 4k stick and it has done here the yellow orange triangle is just telling me that that one's not available that's fine and we're going to go with this one and then we're going to go next it's very easy to do and in this next page it's going to search for our echo uh, dot uh, some of these devices on this list um, I'll focus it in for you um, aren't aren't online or they won't work so for example an echo spot wouldn't work it's not capable and there's some older devices on here um, that says say not compatible now these ones here are the old old gen echoes the real tall ones they're not compatible and this is a third gen echo dot so let's go for this one this one's called loft echo dot and i've just borrowed this but you could call this echo tv speaker for example or echo tv speaker left echo tv speaker right however you want to set up it's entirely up to you you could put them in a group i'd recommend that for easier maintenance and keeping things tidy so let's select that one Next. Now, this is pretty much automatic. So now it's asking me to choose a name. So let's just go for Home Cinema. And it's asking me to add my Home Cinema group, what I've called these speakers, to a room. So let's just add it to Back Bedroom Large where the TV and the Echo is located anyway. This is just how I have my home set up. Yours will obviously be different. We go next on that. So now it's told me that it's created and the app's gone back to the default devices page. It says your Fire TV and Echo device are now configured for use with your home cinema. Get ready for even better TV watching experience with Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital Plus. So if you've got one of those um, Amazon studio speakers then you would have the full 3D sound. And to test this, we can pre play preview. I'll just show you that. We've got play preview button and skip. So let's go play preview. And that's just gonna load that video. So this is like a, like a sort of in a forest type thing. It's sounds really fantastic and I imagine it would sound even better with another one of them or the studio one and you can I 
okay. So we'll skip that for now. And then it says your, your file remote does not offer volume buttons. Well, it does have an up and down, and I have tested that, and it does turn that up and down. Obviously, you've got your, you've got your volume controls here, so I can set that to max. Sorry about that. And you can also turn it up and down. It says, just if I'm with a home cinema system, just ask her name. I won't say that in case it triggers yours off or, and mine as well. You may make your voice request to Echo devices in your home cinema or so you can control this from other areas. To watch your TV, you need to use your TV remote. Okay, so you so basically what's that, what that's saying there is um, it's saying that remote doesn't offer volume buttons and then it's saying you need to use your remote. Okay, fine. So... This Fire TV remote controls my TV volume. It's, it works for my TV, so that's what that means, basically. So there's two ways of turning the volume up and down. One on it, with these buttons, or making sure that your Fire TV remote, and it depends what generation of Fire TV you've got. This is a new one, because you can see that by the little LED there and the voice commands, um, so that allow you to work that. And it says here, you can adjust it by going to these settings. Great, fantastic. So if we just test Sky News. Okay. So as you can see here, that's coming out of that. And I can turn it up and down with the TV remote. That's gonna go quiet because it's just gonna change. You never forget the dogs you've loved. See? So it works with the TV remote. The companion with you. And I can tell you now that one that one echo dot sounds ten times better than this Hisense TV speakers. Hello, welcome back to the second part of the how to use your Amazon Echo as a speaker with your Fire TV stick. So if you wanted to try this out and you don't want to use it anymore or you want to change anything, all you need to do is go down to Devices and you'll see here what you called it. So I called mine Home Cinema on the video. So I'm going to tap that. And all you do, all you simply do is, as you can see here, you've got your Fire TV stick and your, and your Echo. And all, all you do to remove the the Echo Dot from the Fire TV stick for the audio you just simply hit unpair and it'll say do you want to unpair the speaker set connected device will still be available yep unpair and now that speaker setup from the TV to the echo is removed and you can verify that if you still got the menu navigation sounds on by just like that and you can hear that's coming out of the TV now